And what is up guys? Welcome back to another video today. I'm doing some creek fishing. My favorite type of fishing at a creek I haven't fished in a minute. Here we come guys. It's this little tiny stream hidden behind all these willows. And this place is full, full of fish. So yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing today. We're just gonna be hopping around to some different spots. I'm gonna start at this creek. I've got a few other places in mind that I want to try today. It's just one of those days where you go out with a GoPro and a fishing pole and whatever happens, happens. Let's get into this video. Let me show you guys what I'm going to be using and start catching some fish. All right, guys, here's the deal. I've got this little tiny deep diving crankbait on floating. It uh, worked well in the last creek video I made for those cutthroat trout. So I figure there are cutthroat, rainbow, brown, and brook trout in this stream. So I think this will work pretty good for them. All right, first cast. Oh, there we go. Got a little guy. There we go, guys. Third cast. We got us a little wild rainbow. I know these, these are some beautiful wild trout. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Hooked him right in the eye. Oh, sorry, buddy. Oh my gosh. Looks like we got him right underneath the gill. I didn't get him in the gill, but he's bleeding a little bit. Oh, and there he goes. There he goes. So yeah, that's the thing about this creek. All the rainbows and trout that get in here are wild because this place is a seasonal stream. Half the year, this place is drained. There's no water in it, so they don't stock it. So whatever gets in from the other lakes is what gets in here. And 90% of the time, it's all wild. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Got him, got him. Little guy, another little guy, wild rainbow. Look how pretty that thing is fighting in the water. Oh my gosh. Just look at that fish. My hand is still wet after that last one. Look at that, guys. Beautiful wild rainbow, beautiful colors. All of his fins are there. Oh, I love these fish. Ooh, all right, guys. Here we are at this little bridge here. There's usually a lot of fish that get stacked up right here. I'm not seeing any so far, but I'd be surprised if I didn't hook up on a couple. All right, guys, here's the deal. I've been throwing that little tiny crankbait around for a while, caught a couple fish, but uh, a lot of them are just kind of taking swipes at it. They don't seem super aggressive about it. So I've got some backup night crawlers I'm gonna try. I'm just gonna take this little tiny night crawler, throw it on this hook, just like so. Toss it underneath this bridge right behind us. Just toss it right under there. See if we can hook up on a perch. All right, guys, the key is to drift the worm. Just let the current take it and drift it underneath all these logs and grass because I guarantee you they're gonna be stacked up right under there. Nothing, guys. I am, I am shocked. Not even a trout or a chub. Oh my goodness. Let's go ahead and try this side again. Kind of going back and forth. Okay, there, there went a fish. There went a fish. Oh, there we go. Got one. Got one. Right from under there. Let's see. That's actually a good size. <gasps> Ooh, that's tempting. Check that out, guys. Ooh, we might actually have to keep this one. He swallowed that pretty good good thing because he is a little he's big enough if we if we had to hold well, yeah he's bleeding up a storm he took that and went with it well the hook came out pretty easy but there's no way he's surviving after that all right guys I just knocked him out so I'm gonna go ahead and take a just put him in our little grocery bag here I'm hoping to fill that up with some perch today but uh, so far one rainbow down all right well nothing else at the bridge which is kind of surprising thought they were gonna be popping out left and right to bite my night crawler, but that just wasn't the case. So I'm moving downstream a little bit, gonna hit some holes, see what we can get. So I've actually switched back to the little crankbait because uh, I don't know, it's just a gut feeling. I'll actually switch back between lures probably at least a dozen times in one fishing session, just because, you know, sometimes you're feeling it, sometimes you're not. And right here with all this current, I'm feeling this crankbait, it's gonna do some damage. Oh, there was one. Dang it, guys. Did you see that? I just had one in that little still water area right there. It kind of gets a little calmer. 
Got him. Ha, check that out. Check it out, guys. A little wild rainbow. Look at those colors, honestly. These are some beautiful trout. Like I say, these are all wild. They don't stock this place because half the year it's empty. So all these fish are just natural. They survive in the little pools that are left. And uh, they have a nice little uh, population of them. There he goes. This is the part of the stream where it gets really narrow and hard to move around. But it's worth it for these fish. Guaranteed fish right here. Guaranteed. Bite. Got him. Here we go. That's a little guy. Just a little guy. These fish don't get too big in here. The biggest one I've ever caught is like 14 inches. There we go. A nice, another nice little rainbow. Got him. I watched him follow it all the way from those willows. I didn't say anything because I didn't want to jinx myself. Another little rainbow. Cookie cutter, man. That's just, that's what's in here, man. There are browns, there are brooks. I have caught one cutthroat here before, but this is about it right here. Ow. There he goes, just threw the hook right in my thumb. That doesn't feel good. Oh gosh, dang, that could have been worse. There we go, another one. Come on, where are the brook trout at? I caught a lot of brook trout earlier this year and a couple brown trout, but during the summer months, really all you catch out of here are these rainbows. Well guys, that was fun. Got the wild rainbow trout bug out of my system. Now I'm gonna head to a brown trout stream, in fact, where I've done really well there in the past. So uh, let's head on over there. Ah, here we go. Spot number two. This little creek, you guys have seen me fish. No doubt if you watch my videos. The water is low again. Last time I was here two weeks ago, the water was all the way up here. And it's already all the way down there. The reason it's so low is because all the farmers are using the water for irrigation right now. That means the fishing should be pretty good since there's less water and the fish are stacked up. I've got the crankbait all tied on. I'm gonna head over to the tunnel, catch some fish. Guys, like I said, this is a brown trout river. So there should be a lot of brown trout, but there's also rainbow, tiger, and splake. But my goal is a brown. Oh my gosh, there's a fish right when it hit the water. I was literally, this was gonna be the last cast. I was like, I'm switching to the worm. This guy just clobbered it right when it hit the water. I gotta keep him down, that's a good fish. That's a keeper. That is a keeper. That's a tiger, that is a nice tiger trout. Holy cow, check that out. <laughs> check this out guys, that is a beauty. <sighs> Do we keep this? I've been catching and cooking a lot of tiger trout recently, so I don't know. Do I keep him? I'm going to let this guy go. Look at that tiger trout, guys. Beautiful. Healthy. Good colors. So wheat. Hooked him right, up, right there on the side of the mouth. I'll find tiger trout. No matter where I go, no matter what I do, this here is what I'll always be catching. <laughs> I'll never be able to avoid them. There he goes. All right, these fish are being kind of picky, so I've switched to the night crawler again. For some reason, they're just, I don't know, I see some fish up under there, but they're not wanting to chase the, that little crankbait, except for that one. Oh, well, I'm just gonna keep moving up this little stream here, cause uh, there's no fish back there by the bridge. Caught one tiger trout, had a couple other bites, that's it. But I know for a fact this river is completely loaded with brown trout and uh, we should be able to get some here pretty easy. The water is really high, murky, and fast, so that's not ideal. Oh, fish on. Oh my gosh. There they are. They're in here still. Watch this. I'm going to get them right here. A nice little brown. Got him. Yeah. Little is right, but there we go guys, third species of the day. We've knocked out rainbow, tiger, and now brown. Look how skinny that little dude is. Just a itty bitty guy. Hooks right on the corner of the nose. There we go. 
I know there's some bigger ones down there. I need one to keep. Ooh, that looks good right there. Look at all that foam. Foam is home. There's a fish, got him. That's a good one, look at that. Oh my gosh, we have dinner. Look at that fish. Ho, ho, ho. Guys, I'm gonna keep this guy, so don't worry. Check that fish out. I told you there were big ones in here. That is a stud of a fish. Guys, that is a 16, 17 inch brown trout. All right, there we go. Guys, oh, ow, ow, ow. Ow, 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 stop, please, please stop. Oh, oh, these brown trout have super sharp teeth. And my finger just got torn up for sure. But there we go. We have a beautiful German brown ready to be cooked up. There we go, guys. I just killed him. He's no longer with us. And you know what, guys? I got a little tiny piece of worm left. Let's throw it down there again, see if there's one just as big. Or bigger. Well guys, didn't get any other fish from this spot, but that's okay. Because I got a beast of a brown trout. Look at that sucker. Oh my gosh. That was so cool. Anyway, I have a brown, I have a rainbow. I'm going to head back home, start cooking these guys up for a little lunch. All right, guys, here we have our two trout. We have our big old brown trout right here. And then we have our rainbow trout that we caught earlier today. I caught him about six hours ago, and uh, for some reason, he's basically turned to mush. He's really, really soft, and I don't know if that meat's still good. He's not that old. He's still pretty fresh, but uh, I'm not so sure about him. We're going to go ahead and start cleaning out this brown trout here. All the way up to the throat. Got all those guts in there. They just come right out. All right, there we go. That part of the meat kind of fell apart. I don't know why. Uh, it's not that old and I've kept it on ice. But uh, for some reason it's just kind of falling apart on me. Now for the rainbow. This is going to be very interesting because this thing is uh, super, super flimsy. Just cut the head. Pull the guts out. All the guts come out in that head right there. All right, there we go. We have our brown trout and our rainbow trout ready to be cooked. All right, guys. And then we're going to go ahead, turn our grill on here. Set our frying pan on. Then we're going to throw some butter down there let that melt really quick we have our two trout here the brown and rainbow i'm going to take some of this all-purpose seasoning i'm just going to take a bunch of this put it in the bottom of the frying pan here then we're going to take our trout the rainbow and the brown trout Ooh, that's a little big for the frying pan there and then i'm going to go ahead and salt these puppies up some of this all-purpose seasoning Just for fun guys, let's go ahead and take a look in the cupboard here, just to see what other seasonings we can find and experiment with today. Hmm, we got some rosemary leaves. You know what, just for kicks and giggles, let's go ahead and add some of this to our fish. Oop. You know, give it some color. There we go. Ooh, this looks interesting. We have here some rubbed sage. Never heard of that before, but you know what? We're gonna do some experimenting today. And then of course, we have some lime juice. Gotta give it some, uh, some citrusy flavor. Guys, ever since I started doing catch and cooks on my channel, 
It's been really fun because I like just experimenting with a bunch of random stuff you find in the cupboard. Because I'm pretty sure every house or everybody has that cupboard that's just full of a bunch of random seasonings that have been there since 1985. It's fun to break them out every once in a while, cook a fish, throw some seasoning on it, see how it tastes. Ooh, that looks good. The rainbow is almost done. In fact, I like them to be a little golden brown just like that. So we'll give the rainbow another minute or so. And this brown trout, you can see it's done on that side. It's just about done. It's just got a little bit on the middle. And then it'll be all done. This rainbow trout is definitely done. We're gonna get him off. There we go. All right, here we go. Here's the rainbow trout. It is definitely done. All right, here we go. Rainbow trout, caught about six hours ago. The meat was a little mushy when I gutted it, like really mushy. But uh, let's see how it tastes cooked. Wow, that is really good. Dang, you know what I'm tasting? I'm tasting those uh, rosemary leaves. That is a good flavor. You can really, like you smell the bottle of rosemary. That's what that meat tastes like. Let's grab another bite. Wow, that's probably one of the best, other than red meat, that is one of the best white meat trout I've ever had in my life. I'm not just saying that. Wow, that is good. All right guys, our brown trout is definitely done. If you didn't know, I like fish a little uh, overdone, kind of crispy. Uh, there we go. See if I can even fit them on the plate. There we go. All right guys, we have our brown trout and our rainbow trout both cooked to perfection. I already sampled the rainbow trout, it was really good. So let's go ahead and sample the brown trout. Right here, just peel that skin back, get a nice piece of meat. The meat just comes right away from the bone. It smells amazing. You got some of that rosemary leaf on it. Let's give it a try. All right. Mm. I'm liking that a lot actually. That rosemary leaf really adds something to it. The brown trout from that creek that I caught this one at usually have white meat, but I caught it right by the lake. If you guys watched my last brown trout catch and cook video, I explained how the lake brown trout always have red meat because they eat the shrimp, and the creek brown trout have white meat because they eat those bugs and stuff like that. So this brown trout, I can almost guarantee, has spent most of its time in the lake and just went up the creek just, you know, for a day trip or something, you know. And then we have our rainbow. I caught the rainbow like six, over six hours ago. And by the time I gutted it, you guys saw, it was really mushy. I could feel like I would press it and the skin would break open. It just was not in good shape. It didn't have much of a lifespan to it, but we cooked it up and honestly, this is one of the best white meat trout I've ever had. Nice wild, wild rainbow trout. You know what guys, this is gonna sound uh, pretty crazy, but if I had to rate these fish or put them head to head, I think this white meat rainbow trout is gonna take the dub today. I wasn't even like doing a taste test or experiment because I thought it was gonna be a no brainer. Red meat trout almost always just tastes way better than any kind of white meat trout. But today, the white meat rainbow reigns victorious. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video as much as I did making it. I had a lot of fun catching these fish and cooking these fish. Go down there, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. Stay tuned for more coming soon. And I think that's it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.